Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be covering this chrome shader. It's super simple to make and we can use different HDRIs to get different effects. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Start with a new file here. Go ahead and delete the default cube. Delete the light. Let's go into our render properties. Click cycles, GPU. We're going to turn off our denoising here. We're going to give ourselves 128 samples. We'll keep the dimensions where they're at. And then in our layer properties, we want to click on denoising data. I'm going to go over to my compositing tab. Click on use nodes. I'm going to go ahead and add a denoising node and this is for our final render so when we go to render this is going to look really good. Just go ahead and plug the normal into the normal and the albedo into the albedo and now we're all set up for our rendering properties. Let's go back to our layout tab and we're going to go ahead and add a round cube. Now a round cube is not in your normal mesh menu here so you want to go to edit preferences, go to your add-on section here and type in extra and you're going to get add mesh extra options. Go ahead and check mark that and that will allow us to add our round cube. And now you want to go add mesh round cube right here. And then there's going to be this little settings down here. And you want to go ahead and make sure that the operator preset is on rounded cube. And then for our radius, we're going to click one. And then for our arc divisions, I'm going to do 100. You guys can do less than that. My computer can handle 100 subdivisions. So that's what I went ahead and put in there. And then we're going to right click shade smooth. And then we're going to go over to our normals tab right here and click auto smooth. So now we're going to have this nice, smooth, perfect sphere. Now using numpad zero, I'm going to snap back to my camera view and we're going to go ahead and add an HDRI in. So right here in your world settings where it says color, you click on that little dot and then you want to click on environment texture. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my favorite HDRI that I've been using lately, Sunrise. And you guys can get this off of Polyhaven, which I will link in the description. Now in your viewport at the top right here, make sure you're in rendered preview so you can see what's going on and you can see our HDRI here. Now, literally all we have to do is go ahead and add our shader and then make a few tweaks to render. Click on our sphere, go to our materials tab, click on a new material, and we're gonna make sure this is uh, pure white up here. Bring our metallic all the way up and then bring our roughness all the way down. And just like that, we have a nice chrome shader. Super simple, don't have to get into any nodes. That's it. And now we're gonna go ahead and adjust some more settings before our render. Go ahead and click on your camera here and we're gonna add some depth of field to this. So I'm gonna check the depth of field box and with our eyedropper tool, I'm gonna to select the round cube. And I'm gonna go ahead and give us a f-stop of 0.3. And that looks really good. So we have that nice blurred background, but we're still focused on our sphere here. And the last thing I wanna do is just find a really nice camera angle. And to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add an empty into our scene here. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna actually shift click the camera and parent the camera to the empty. So now what I can do is I can actually go to my empty and I can adjust my rotation of my empty to find the perfect angle. And I think that looks pretty good there. And what I'm gonna do is pop up in my empty hierarchy here, click on my camera again. I'm gonna give my camera a rotation of 90 degrees, and then I'm just gonna bring it down on the Z axis so we get something like this. And again, we can go back to our empty and adjust the rotation to our liking. I think something like that looks pretty good. And again, you can go back, adjust the depth of field as you want. Now that we have everything the way we want it, we can literally just click render image and we'll have our nice chrome shader there. And as you can see, it's all done and that looks really good. You can adjust pretty much anything to your liking. You can adjust the camera, you can adjust the depth of field, you can select different objects. Quick little pro tip for you guys, if you just have another random object in there that you want to go ahead and apply the same material to, all you have to do is click on that object shift click your object that you want to copy the material from and then you want to do control L and select link materials and now you can see that our material has copied over here so let's just go ahead and give this a quick subdivision surface modifier and shade that smooth and just like that we have our chrome material applied to another object guys this is really easy super simple again you can select different HDRIs which I'll show you just a quick example you can do a completely different HDRI and get a completely different effect um, but we have our chrome shader. That's pretty much it. It's literally just a metallic shader with a low roughness And that's pretty much it guys So if you enjoyed this tutorial go ahead and drop a comment down below Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you want to see next I'd be more than happy to cover more basic stuff like this That's super simple for anybody to do and I will link all of the material assets and the HDRIs below um, Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. See you in the next tutorial